Hello, folks. <clears throat> Folk of the Bob. We're gonna do a model video. And now that I have way better storage for video and a better camera, we're gonna do a full length model video breakdown of everything and all that would be included. So, looking past that, what is it we're gonna be looking at? Well, it's right here in front of you. This is the box for the 1964 Oldsmobile Cutlass by AMT. An interesting kit to start with. However, the circumstances that led to me getting this are interesting in itself. This is not for me. This is for someone else, a friend of mine. Ignore the paintbrush needle that just fell. Um, he doesn't know how to build models, and he isn't super into old American cars. He likes Subarus and Toyotas and and tanks. I built him a tank, but he, you know, has has a, has a little bit of a soft spot for. For American stuff like he likes NASCAR I don't know why he likes NASCAR but I mean so so what do I do I know one thing he likes and that's his favorite color and we're just gonna go with that and he knows how I build models so this is gonna be a little bit of I gotta come up with my own idea for this but let's take a look at the box we got this nice Drawing of, of the car fully customized. Now this reminds me, if anyone's ever seen that one car George Barris did with the Barracuda that they cut the top off for a, a movie. Can't remember it off the top of my head. Here's the decal sheet. Is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, it's not focusing. Anyways. Blah, blah, blah. Round two. More picture. So we get the dual Judson superchargers. Which... Are really cool we get the, the custom grill that's for a convertible different bumpers different wheels disc brakes we get side pipes anti-roll bar no roll bar for the head steering wheel air cleaner and the elko shift that's interesting never heard of that oh yeah so why don't we get the box out of the way and look at the car itself some styrene here we got the car itself. This is just amazing. Um, I'm going to pause for a second, and then I'll be back with all the styrene. Okay, so now we have more styrene. I had to pull it all out of the box. We got this, which has a lot of the extra little racing parts, I believe. And some wheel hubs. This kit, um, I did some research. Uh, actually, a friend helped me do some research. This kit's original mold goes all the way back to 1964, which is as old as a real 64 Cutlass. There's some chrome. I mean, this stuff looks really good. I mean, it is an AMT kit. There's the dual Judson superchargers, which are not like a normal supercharger, which you think, you know, bolts to the custom intake on the top of an engine block or to the side. However, you've seen one put on an engine. It's almost like an early pro charger where they kind of just bolt anywhere on the engine. In the case of this V8, they, you know, stick on, on top on the sides. But, you know, they ran off accessory belts like AC or your alternator. And I think, oh, that there's the disc brakes and the custom steering wheel and the stock steering wheel and the flesh mounted color matched bumpers. Those are cool, but I have a different plan for this. Oh, yeah, that can you cut the top off and make it all like that for, like, full race car. Now, let's take a look at the custom. It didn't mention it, but there is custom racing seats. I'm thinking about those, but I like the cool old school bucket seats. When I tell you what my idea for this is, getting on to some engine parts. Now, trust me, as you can tell, I've already opened this. Uh, those are dual Weber carburetors, or two different sets of, you know, accessory belt, factory intake, factory manifolds. They only give you one set of valve covers. I'm surprised they don't give you some chrome ones. 
I think you are an oil filter or the fuel pump. I'm bidding on oil filter. I have a, I started this. <laughs> Here's your battery. Anyone curious? Um, what else we got here? We got the interior tub. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Lots of detail. Although I wish it didn't come with the back seat. Great reduction race car. Oh, there's a custom hood. I kind of accidentally screwed it up a little bit. Some glue came out of my little glue thing over there and it leaks and then stuff accidentally sits on it. I don't even think I'm going to use this hood. It says it's required for the superchargers, but I have different plans. It's ugly. Who would want that? So we got some more exhaust parts, more car parts, fire extinguisher, Look at those big old side pipes. Burr, 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 burr. Look, at, look at those. those big old side pipes. Um, we got the dash. And all that. Oh, I got to show you. I started the engine. So this is, did some research, the Oldsmobile <clears throat> um, 280 block, I believe, with, with the 330 horsepower spec. I'm not an Oldsmobile expert or early GM expert. There's that roll bar. Now, sure, there's the tub, the bottom tub. This is one of those super basic kits where suspension and everything's all done for you even the exhaust i don't like that but i may just we'll, we'll see where it goes so oh and there's this car is held together with screws and stuff there's the clear i'm just gonna get that out of the way there's the little screws it's metal axle car not a huge fan of those there's, there's tons more parts here, just everything. Anyways, but it's a convertible 64 Cutlass. Now, I'm going to clear all this extra styrene out of the way, and then I'll get back to you on what my idea for this is. So, we got the body here, got the engine. So my thought process is sleeper, but it's like it was still the 60s, because... I mean, back then, cars were pretty flashy and whatnot, but sometimes I mean, they had a trick up their sleeves. So we're going to do the dual supercharger on this little little Oldsmobile engine. However, I, I the wheels that came with it, ugly. I, I, I tried. These are claimed to be a set of really cool old school Krager wheels. I spent hours on the internet seeing if I could find an example. If there are any Krager experts who watch the channel, perhaps... People who know a little bit more about old cars than I do. Ooh, custom air filter. Then uh, then let me know. You can look at the stock ones. Those are cool if you want a stock car. I think that would be cool, but we're, we're not doing that. So, I have, and these are the tires that come with the kit. You can do white wall, or should I say white, white stripe, or these good years. Firestone, I'm sorry. These are Mopar wheels. From my 440 Roadrunner kit that I did. Um, that you guys have never seen because I don't share all my model stuff. So we're going to keep it convertible with the kind of a stock look. Um, but here's the decal sheet. I'm going to run this big old stripe down the roof. And I'm going to put a couple racing stickers on it. And look how nice that is for the dash panel. And we're going to do the superchargers. Maybe the side pipes. I don't know. But the goal is 60 sleeper. I'll do the lowered front, you know, raise up the back. I wish I had some fatter tires all the way around, but I'm not sure how the whole hood situation is going to be. So, color, red. It's my friend's favorite color, so it's going to be red. And I'm going to do all the trim silver and everything. Somewhat stock car on the outside. So... That's the plan, and whatnot. So, I guess, next step on this is really to start getting Peyton on a lot of these parts, because how simple this kit is. So, when I come back to you, I'll be Peyton.
All right, folks, so I pretty much have most of the parts painted. Big stuff, um, you know, the engine block, all the little pieces you've seen me paint, the underbody, the main body. Um, I did do little things, and I do have more little things that I probably won't show on camera. Really small stuff that, you know, in the end you'll see when it's done. It's kind of meaningless to videotape. But I got the decals, and everything's ready to just be put together now. There is chrome stuff that I have to do, but other than that, um, let me show you some more of the bigger parts of building it. Other than that, you should be seeing a finished car here in the near future of this video. Well, folks, here she is, all done. It's, uh, you know, it's a really fun kit to do, and this is my last little extra thing I did. Cut out the hood, made it look clear, plexiglass, because I thought that would just look really killer. So, I'm just gonna let you take a peeper at her. I'm just super happy with how this came out. My friend should love it. He has no idea. All, all he did was hand me the box. So, he'll see this video before he gets it. But, you know, I, I, I couldn't be more impressed with myself on this. Just absolutely stunning. So, I leave you with this. And I'll probably take some photos to end the video. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll have more cool model car content like this. Bob out.